Hello and welcome to This Week in Anime History, and it is a heavy week, sadly, but ending on a positive note. Uh, this week in anime history, July 21st, 1983, was the premiere of the Barefoot Gen film, a film about the, um, well, a young boy living in Hiroshima, Japan in 1945. Guess how that goes. Um, important because the manga was a landmark manga when it was released, and adapting it into, into an anime allowed for a much wider audience to see that, and it absolutely animates what it was like living through the, the dropping of an atomic bomb. Uh, it is... A very difficult movie to watch, but an important one to watch because it is about a very important uh, important thing. So that is absolutely um, an important moment in anime history. Uh, also this week in 1989 saw the arrest of Tutomo Miyazaki, uh, a man who um, kidnapped several young children and, and bad things happened. Um, this was a uh, major case... Uh, and uh, w unfortunately, it was discovered that Miyazaki uh, owned a lot of uh, violent media, including uh, anime and manga, and some of which some of that material involved, let's just say, young characters. And um, th uh, that led rise to a lot of media concern and let's just say media panic around the role of um, violent and or an exploitative exploitative imagery. Um, not just anime, but also anime and manga, um, and the roles they have in society and uh, what, could, what could happen there, because it was a truly horrible, horrible case, and I will let you look that up if you want to know more. Um, but this really changed a lot of the opinions the folks had about otaku, um, in the sense that before that, otaku were seen as... Um, um, well, there are a lot of opinions about it, um, but they, they, there wasn't a hugely negative opinion about otaku. Um, they were seen as probably um, um, kind of leeching off society somewhat and not very productive, um, but this added a danger to otaku uh, for a lot of people in Japan. So it really darkened, really dark times for, um, for anime fandom for, for a while there um, because of, of those events. Um, but... Moving on, um, this was also the week that saw the release of Spirited Away. So as a strange a twist as, as, as that, as strange a shift as that is, um, Spirited Away was the, uh, really the, the big international uh, calling card for Hayao Miyazaki. Uh, it was a film that really went pretty wide internationally. Um, obviously, his films up to that point had been seen a lot in uh, East Asia, but with the backing of Disney, uh, Spirit Away was able to be seen in a, a good number of theaters, and it was really where a lot of folks first came across Hayao Miyazaki, uh, and allowed his um, his oeuvre to become wide known and and well known uh, worldwide. So it's a really important landmark for Hayao Miyazaki and anime in general in terms of bringing more awareness of quality anime to uh, to the rest of the world. So that is the anime history of this week. Again, rough set of news, but that's history.